Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Circus Electrique, a strategy RPG made by, I'm pretty sure it's Zen Studios, Zen Studios, and published by Saber Interactive, who were kind enough to reach out and ask to sponsor this video. So, uh, effectively you play as a uh, group of circus performers, you know, all the different archetypes, clowns, strongmen, fire breathers, jugglers, acrobats, I'm assuming, maybe ringmasters. Uh, let's see, new game, because I just barely even started the next one. I wonder if you get to play as the doorkeeper as well, because obviously there's a strong man. Uh, but effectively, it's like an alternate steampunk London where everybody else has gone mad, and you have to rebuild your circus and possibly also save the city. So we're just going to dive in and try and come up with the most goofy group I can possibly put together. I promised myself I would never see him again. Ten years is far too soon, after what he did. Yet here I am, reporting on the least important story for tomorrow's paper. The grand reopening of his Circus Electric. He hasn't lost his charisma. I'll give him that. Always giving them something new, something bigger. Something more dangerous. I've seen these two before. That's their happy face. <laughs> Maybe they'll arrest Uncle. That'd be a story I could get behind. What are they doing? Die! What? Die! Die! Then I hear him. Grump! Balthy! Save my niece! Want this? <laughs> the cops are on like little segue things! What the heck? To their knees. Overcome your opponents in battle it, with skills each character can use. Uh, with skills. Each character can only use one skill per turn. Okay, so we've got a clown, uh, Grok. Clown, level 1, 87 HP. 40% devotion. I wonder if that's like a sanity meter. Water attack, ball throw. Got hiccups. Deals 9 to 12 plus 2 damage. Decreases devotion by 5%. Chance to move target to the last slot. Okay, so this is actually pretty familiar. Uh, let's see, both of these guys... Okay, this one has lower loyalty. I'll try and make it less loyal. Certain... Yep, okay, this is pretty familiar. Uh, so we can manually move, or we can also do this. We have to be in the front. Yep. Okay, not only can Grok use ball throw in any position, it's also effective against all enemies wherever they're placed. So I'm going to keep wailing on this guy, because his his loyalty is atrocious. And I want to see if I can further push that down. I cannot get over their stupid robot segues. How do they remain on those? Wow, that's a ton of damage. Die? <laughs> Damn. Strongman is uh, no joke. Each character only acts once in their turn in order determined by their initiative attribute. Yep, makes sense. I'm glad these are not the horror clowns. Like, still kind of freaking me out a little bit. I'm not a big fan of clowns, but I'll take the rest. Why do we have a lion? <laughs> a rather eventful reunion after 10 years, was it not, Denise? Or do I have to click for these? Saving lives isn't really your style, Uncle. But thank you. Wait, is that just always her lion? What? <laughs> I see your mother's lion remains as spirited as ever. Yep, she just has a lion companion. Why was that not in the cutscene up until the very end? Unless I was just totally missed it because I was zonked out. Yes, and just as blind. No thanks to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some facts to gather. 
Ah, for your circus story. Of course. Dear God, no. I need to understand what the hell just happened here. That's the new story. It was like highlighted in slate blue and I was like, is this something I click on? But no, it's just extra emphasis. Come, let's find Dr. Mabry. He hid once this maddening took hold, but... But he's a brilliant man with brilliant thoughts. Unlike certain present company. Hm. I'll not have you speak of Grok in that way. Or growl, as it were. I didn't know this was going to be fully voice acted. I like that. Beware of the Bobbery meter in night, mat night battles. If you fight for too long, the night patrol will arrive. Where is Dr. Mabry? We've looked everywhere. Oh shit, that lion got way more messed up than I thought. You could not see it from the other side, but it this whole side of its face is wrecked. Damn. Not quite everywhere. Okay, circus expansion. Train is unlocked. Character unlocked. Fire blower performers may appear in the train to be recruited. Okay, so recruit performers aboard the train. No Dr. Mabry in here, but I do believe I spot some new talent. Okay, so focus spot when birth is standing in three to four gains immunity against taunt effects and also immune to fire well might as well building upgrade applicants max level okay this is fairly familiar tell me bertha the fire blower you any good in a fight a fight sir oh he brought a mime Seems first great success was equipping most London bobbies with steam wheels in 1890. Why does the mime have a second pair of hands? Devotion largely determines the character's effectiveness in battle. Higher devotion bars may lead to higher damage and a chance to hit. Okay, so what she got? Fire attack, chance to break the target's stance. No. Oh, uh, she hits both of them. Puts the breath in fire breathing. Okay, using certain skills can win a, within a battle can instantly decrease or increase or decrease the devotion of all targets. Use trumpet boost to temporarily increase all team members' devotion. Oh, see, I wanted to demoralize the mime. Everyone's increased devotion inspires us all. Hopefully, that dialogue does not stick through. Uh, the whole game, that it's more of a tutorial thing. Otherwise, boy inspiration. Devotion has two different values. The base value constantly affects the character's effectiveness, while the temporary values only last a few rounds in battle. So, damage with a precision penalty. Chance to remove all positive effects. So, way more damage, but chance to miss. Constable has a lot more HP. I'm gonna give it a shot. Dang. It was worth a shot. Because, yeah, just... Uh, oh, like your own performers, reducing opponent's devotion may haste, uh, lessen their effectiveness. If the devotion drops to zero, they flee the battle. Okay, the mime is not very devoted. I... Oh, it is a devotion attack. Does it hit both or... No, it only hits one. Okay. There we go. Bertha, worth all ten shillings for sure. Maybe even eleven. No, just ten. Moves forward, taunts, throw ball, boost precision for a turn. Oh, only a turn. Uh, no, you know what? I'm just going to keep tooting the trumpet. Because I want to see if I can get the strong man to go full ham here. Just a little quarrel. Well... Otherwise, we're just going to kill this Bobby. Oh, right. There's also... Well, maybe they haven't introduced it yet. I don't see anything about the night patrol. But I think at this point I should just hit him normally. I just... I can't... I can't resist the desire for an insta-kill. Uh, these guys just have zero accuracy. I'm assuming it's for the tutorial. Wow, we have a s steam trike. <laughs> okay, sure. Is this fighting 
normal for you, Ringmaster. Only very recently. You just endangered this poor girl's life. Bertha, are you hurt? A scratch or two. Nothing a night in the sleeping cart won't heal. Sleeping cart. Okay, so we have bulletin board. Injured performers can relax in the sleeping cart, but cannot perf uh, cannot yeah, cannot participate in anything else in the meantime. Okay, rest fatigued. Must recover. Yvonne, so lovely to see you. Banged up as you may be from surviving out there. Uh, perhaps the sleeping cart should be yours for the evening. Okay, so we also have Yvonne. I don't know what class she is. She seems to have a lot of manacles, which is a little concerning. Takes time to heal. Let her rest in the sleeping cart until tomorrow. Oh, and here comes Dr. Mabry. Help! 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 Save me from these relentless brigands! More of these fop doodles? Oh, bugger. Oh, the voice acting for this is like actually really good across the board. And I'm very, I very much appreciate that it has voice acting. Okay, Devotion can increase some skills damage and chance to hit Devotion does not affect every skill. Skills affected by Devotion are highlighted with an electric field. Positive or negative effect of Devotion is highlighted in parentheses. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. How are we looking? Because I could set them all on fire, or we could work on wrecking his Devotion. For people that have gone mad, you'd think that Devotion... Uh, let's see, Grok's Devotion increases by 4%, decreases by 5%, or we just don't hit this guy instead. Let's just do that. She'll take out the back guy on his turn. Wow, this clown is just immune to damage. You cannot touch the clown. Nor the strongman, in fact. Yeah, I don't know why I used the stronger move. I like how this strong man has like straight up just like techno bracers and a, an electro baton. Oh, I can't hit that one. Well, fine. I guess we'll just kill this guy. We'll just kill all of them. Oh, heals health. Grok's devotion decreases. Oh, so Grok is actually like a healer. Well, that was fast. Wait, does the lion have a saddle? What's on the lion's back? I missed that part. Okay, days always end after battles, with circus results and character statuses reported from there, so costs meet to continue. Uh, Yvonne is now joined. Effects from buildings are realized the following day. Yvonne was healed. Okay, so we now have Yvonne. You want my opinion on this, don't you, Amelia? The pillar of power you designed was lit. Exactly then, everything around us went to hell. You, uh, you should see what happened to the London Bridge. The London Bridge? Has it fallen down, my fair Maybury? Or worse, it, it disappeared. My drones confirm it. Vanished. I, I have to go back and give credit. The, you should see what happened to the London Bridge, and then they actually managed to more or less use the, the lyrics from the song, not fully, uh, as like a, a lion that makes sense, they must have named Mabry entirely so it would fit this lion, which is fine. I'm just impressed. Vanished? How? I, I can get you there to see for yourself with a map. I just need, just need time. May I bring it to you shortly? All things come shortly from you, Ollie. Join us at the circus tent when you can. That's where she'll be, with me, watching how I plan my shows. What? You don't want to recruit more talent at the train first? A marvelous suggestion, Amy. First the train, then the circus tent. I I do want to play as the niece. I've forgotten her name a little bit. I want her lion. So we got Pablo, Maria, or Caesar. So, oh wait, what is this? Circus act pipe bending. Oh, with a fire blower and a clown. So I guess we have performances that we put on as well. That's interesting. Oh. And they have different features. Maybe different moves? I think they have the same moves. 
No, no, they have different moves too. So she's got a whole bunch of different things. I kind of like the idea of Pablo, if only because uh, his ability to heal a random teammate every every round actually sounds kind of useful. I just don't really, I really don't like clowns, man. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Traps, fire breathing. Damage, chance to deal burning damage, mesmerize, reduces precision for a turn, increases devotion, moves to the front, stance, beh, and what's he got? Interestingly enough, like half of her moves have locks on it, but this guy, this guy seems to have everything unlocked right from the get-go. Oh, weight throw, chance to hit a second random target. He does have show off. And stunning attack. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go with a clown. I Do we need to... Oh, no. We have to recruit all three. Well, all right. That's fair. I'm looking forward to when we get other character archetypes. Escape artist performers may appear... Okay, circus upgrade. I see. So there's now escape artist, which I guess is what Yvonne is. Circus, circus tent unlocked. And then new circus show draft available. Okay, set up my first show. Uh, this sure. This is how it's done. Select the Village Roadshow Draft as first step. You'll get more drafts later. Next step is preparing for a circus show is to select the appropriate performers. Every performer has a preferred performance type, but many are also particular with whom they like to work. The more attention you pay to the chemistry of your performers, the more successful, successful your shows will be. Look here to see which performance type the character prefers. The chemistry bar changes and how much at, at a much lower rate of a icon of a performer card does not match okay the green icon here indicates this performer enjoys working with a specified class the red icon is the opposite to the left the character's own class is highlighted okay Th i these are some things so i don't think we have much for trumpets or maybe we do the line connecting the two shows how effective they work together green indicates a strong relationship red the opposite Character compatibility is displayed in the chemistry bar, with higher ratings earning more stars. The more stars you accumulate, the more rewards you can earn from performances. Okay, get two stars. So, the clown is a trumpeter. What about the main event? Oh, oh! I see. It's because that's that's why it wasn't letting me go. I'd miss this symbol. So, Caesar likes the main event, Pablo likes the opening event, she likes the supporting act. There we go. Here you can distribute the stars you earned in the previous step to best yield results for your next performance. Distribute your stars without exceeding the potential value of a draft in any category. Once you've distributed all stars available, hit the announce button. The event will be held later today and the new next day's newspaper will re report the results. Since they're busy with the show, selected performers can't be used for anything else for the rest of the day. Ah, that's why I, I picked up a, a bunch of effective duplicates. So. We can't put anything in entertainment or complexity, so I guess it's just pure audience and nothing more. Well, give me some money. Got nothing better to do today, right? Okay, event will take place after the next battle. I like the illustration style for this game. It works. It's it very much matches the time. What a waste of time. My mic arm was covering the little next button. I was like, where do I go next? You love it. Wait, what was that? Die, die! Even more bloodthirsty vicious. Okay, performers assigned to a circus show gain devotion. Success of the show increases the amount they gain. Oh, that's useful. What is she? A posh woman. Okay, so who's got devotion? So the mime... The mime goes down. Assuming I don't miss. We might also gain devotion for kills. Okay, so what else do we have? We have a heal. And we have... Yeah, the balls seem to work. So the main question is... 36, 33. So they're pretty weak across the board. I don't know who's more dangerous. Oh, we'll just hit him. That reduces damage by one? I don't know. Confusing. Okay, so she is best actually kind of in the front two slots from what I can tell. 
Uh, except for Chain Grab. Oh, but only works against other people. However, deals damage, chance to remove. Stun also just zaps everybody. Wow. Okay. You show off to increase damage and reduce all incoming damage. While the effect of Trumpet Boost wears off after a short time, show off increases your character's devotion permanently. Oh. I guess I have no choice. Yes! And that, boys and girls, is why he's so often the main event. This icon re represents all active status effects. Okay, so we already know about that. So, he's pretty wounded if I can do 15 to him. Let's see, 14 to 16. Ooh. Her basic fire whip should be enough. Or fire attack. Let's see. Well, I guess we might as well just do fire attack and just delete this guy. Wow. She's a uh, lot stronger than I thought she was going to be. And she is enraged. But Mrs. Anyway, does she have a steampunk arm? She does. Weird. Okay. Sure, what else do we have? Inten oh, enters a stance next turn. Retaliates. Uh, until next turn. Retaliates moving enemies. Moving enemies. Interesting. Yeah, chance to move target. I feel like there's a lot of really weird, kind of goofy things that you could potentially do. Wow, she's just gone. Some, like, really weird, goofy scum strategies to just completely smoke your foes. Seems like we get a lot more money by fighting than the circus performance, but we don't get much for devotion. Oh, Balthazar leveled up, and we also get some doodads. Okay, so Balthazar is ready to level up. Level up. For each level up, characters can dist distribute 10 points to increase their Circus Act values. Higher circus act, circus act values are essential for more complex shows. Oh. Okay. So what do we have? Fun, amazement, laugh, thrill. If I auto-assign... I don't know. So what is... Is his inherent thrill and amazement... I wish I understood this better, what these do. Oh, we can also spend resources to upgrade their moves here. Or even unlock them. It's all those doodads and all that meat we're finding, so... Increase the damage by a bit. Uh, dodge reduction chance. This one's kind of useful if I want to upgrade it a bunch because I can reduce that precision penalty. Unfortunately, it looks like I need quite a lot more resources than I have to do anything with any of these. Or no, 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 no. It probably only cost me one and then I have 54 because I definitely have more than one meat. That would have been uh, kind of rough. Okay, well, in this case, thrill, amazement. I'm just all in, baby. Skills can be upgraded to the character's level. Use skills to strengthen their skills. Perfect. Okay, so what does this one do again? Moves them to the front. Boost damage by 5%. Reduces all damage by 5%. Devotion increases by 5% permanently, I think. I think. I mean, I might as well. I'm probably going to keep this guy around. What is this perk? Oh. Interesting. Immune to movement affects if he's in the front, but if he's in the back, he does extra crit. That's an interesting question. He's not that useful. Eh, no, I mean, he could do weight throw and boomerang at the very least. I'll think about Amelia, it. I, I have this for you. For answers. A map? It'll get you to the vanished bridge. Through all the dangers. Just how dangerous are these dangers, Dr. Mabry? <laughs> Very, but you see, that's the beauty of this map. I have drones, I have the police radio, I know what's, what's out there. Such as? Abandoned boxes left behind by evacuees, wanton violence, a bunch of who knows what. How specific? This map will keep you safe. Safer, anyway. I like the emphasis. Even in the text. It... it's a nice style. Then I shall put it to good use. Thank you, Dr. Mabry. 
Too much information, feeling lost, can't remember. Okay, there's codex for tutorials. So we could rest, but there's not really much of a point. Embark for the streets of London. So what else do we have? Oh, that's embark. What is the bulletin board? Oh, this is just all of my materials. Available items and resources. I was assuming with a uh, bulletin board... Yeah. Rope escape, some other things. So what does she have? Cannot be forced to be moved or stunned. Interesting. And is better in the front. Well, I guess I should double check just to see if any of these other characters have really good perks. I'm not seeing anything though. Not so fast, young lady. The story's out there, Uncle. So I'm going out there. Yes, of course you are, but not without some help. Help? From whom? Your second-rate performers who aren't good enough for the premiere? A rather negative spin, and only mostly inaccurate. They're a devoted bunch, and they'll fight like old boots for you. Your safety matters, Amy. You're offering safety? You? Amy, your mother's accident. I... I know you'll never forgive me, but... Goodbye, Uncle. Good luck with the show. I guess I'm stuck with the four of you, but what order suits you best? Okay, set up my exploration team. Build my exploration team from the available characters. Okay, so here's the question. Oh, is there no way I can actually check these characters' perks? So we want Balthazar no matter what, but I might want Pablo instead of Grok. Uh, and there's no way I can check. Well, whatever. Oh, now I can. That's weird. But yeah, he's got the healing, which actually seems really helpful just so I don't have to worry about anything. He's also got a poison attack. Interesting. Yeah, so I think we'll go with Pablo. Because yeah, what is Grok's perks? When he's entering his stance, increases devotion. Oh, never mind. Grok is actually just better. He might not necessarily have the moves. I mean, he's got a taunt. But specifically, don't you dare. I, I think what we might want to do is actually build around Grok. Uh, and get a bunch of things that moves targets. So stuff like ball throw isn't the worst. Now the one problem is that would prevent people like um, Bertha, maybe? Because I don't think she moves anybody. No, she doesn't. What about Yvonne? Chance to move target and herself forward by one slots. Okay. Because you know, Pablo has the ball throw. Oh, and knockback. But he has to be in the front for that one. Unless... Maybe we're fine with this. Let me look, or look around a little bit more, see if we have any other moves. Because we also have her. We move Caesar to the front. Okay, what if we do something completely wild? What if we put Grok here, Pablo here? Actually, flip him. Um, put Maria and then Yvonne. Abandoned boxes. Wanton violence. A bunch of who knows what. Each map is made up of nodes and routes that connect them. The exploration team moves from node to node in the district towards their final target. Explore London and reveal different types of events and items such as loot crates, patrolling enemies, random encounters, and boss battles. Okay, select this node to move forward. Okay, I just want to double check that this is correct. Because once again, Hammerhead doesn't get me anything. However, Pablo, Pablo's got knockback. Has to be done in the front. Eats people to the back. Not as useful later on, but that's fine. There's also Taunt. Oh, Taunt just moves him forward. And they both have healing. Maria doesn't have a move ability, but she's got the trap. Which she can put anywhere. Which seems like it would be pretty good. And Yvonne has... Which was it? This. So, chance to move target... Target and herself forward by one slot. So if I keep her in the back... This should vaguely work. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Loot Crate. Whoever left this here won't mind if we borrow its contents for a while. I might also try like a pure fire build at some point just for the hell of it. 
Okay, resources. Let's actually take a look. So, London Bridge is all the way up here. We've got a couple of things. Circus Enthusiasts. Impromptu Performance. A lot of fights if we go this way. A lot of fights plus a mystery plus this. Uncle has something to share with us. Interesting. Because what we might want to do is... What is this? I'm not going to allow the maddening to interfere with my primary assignment. So she's got a little writing thing there. Um, Jeez, I'm going to go all the way around and like loop back. I think. Okay. Oh. And we also have to set up tonight's show. Um, well, this is un an unfortunate situation. It's a one-star performance, but I don't care. Yeah, still don't care. I'm more interested in the combat at the moment. Eventually, I'll care more about these performances. Some skills require no exertion. Okay, one class skill for each class exerts a continuous passive effect. Certain performers may have additional random passive skills. Okay. Passive skills are displayed, so yeah, she's just immune to fire. Now here's the question, what do we what else can we do? Advanced retreat, skills, items. Haven't looked into that yet. Attributes. I was kinda hoping there would be a pause. However, doesn't look like I've got that. Well, I guess I'm gonna just put the trap down. Okay, so we wanna have him do don't you dare. Okay, and he's got the poison attack. So if I hit him, it eats him backwards. No. Did it? Okay, there's there's just the trap. So the trap actually just does damage if they're on it. Okay. Chance to remove stun from allies or chance to deal stun or devotion grab. So a lot of stuns don't care too much. Let's see. So we can only hit the back two. Oh. Alternatively, I'm just going to do the AoE. Because it kills the mime. Which is kind of what we wanted anyway. Okay, that's rude. But also fine. So what do we have? Stance reduces precision for a couple of turns. Increase devotion by 10% ch chance to increase devotion further. Her devotion isn't the best. Okay, I think that one guy stanced up. But I don't care that much. Okay, so what do we have? Buff, water ball. Let's see, we could taunt. Oh, I see. He has to use it on himself. There we go. So what else do we have? Chance to break the target stance. We also have heal. Another water attack. Or taunt. Yeah, I can, I can just mash taunt a bunch. You mess with my order, I just go neener neener at you, I guess. Wow, critical hit for four damage. I am shaking in my boots. Yeah, okay, let's just start hitting them. I, I was going to go for, like, you know, weird combo tricks, but I think my best option is actually just to be hyper aggro. Especially because most of these enemies don't actually seem to be particularly dangerous. The healing power of I do appreciate that there are multiple visuals for clowns. Okay, could taunt. Let's just kill him. Or miss. That would also do it. 
But, you know, instead of just having one clown model, mix up the hairdo, mix up the skins just a bit. Let's see, break a target stance. Does more damage. Die. You're not dead yet? Wow. Durable little Bobby there. Uh oh. What does Depressed do? Reduces devotion by 10%. That might be a temporary deal, though. I wonder if there's like a fast mode for this. Probably is. Okay, so fire attack places a trap. 100% chance that the trap deals 15 damage over time for one turn. Interesting. So it's a f it effectively... Huh. I'll have to think on that one. Uh, honestly, let's just keep doing fire blow. Oh, her... Her little torches are green. I forget uh, what things you throw in to make it green. I messed with that when I was in high school. Made a fire and filmed myself throwing like salts and other bits into the fire to change the color a bit. That was fun. I should do it again where I can actually film it better. <laughs> or just, you know, Bunsen burner. Ah, yes. Fine journalism, this. Okay, so Deadly Riots is Circus Electrique returns. Okay, Deadly Riots is Circus Electrique returns to business. Total mayhem was unleashed on the streets yesterday as droves of Londoners suddenly turned on one another. No one knows what inspired the violence, nor can anyone be sure when it'll end. All Londoners are advised to stay indoors until further notice. We got stuff. Can I? Oh, worst Circus Electrique performance ever? Possibly. Ouch. Total lack of gifts. Okay, so maybe I should actually give a shit. I will. Sullivan stash oil. What about this one? Okay, and there's more to this, but... Eh. Anything else I can click on here? Yes, ringmaster accused of staging vicious fights for attention. Buskers, constables. Oh, I see. And then financial news of Circus Electric. Most businesses are rather shy about reporting their daily intakes. Not so with the Ringmaster, who fills us in daily. So, lose some meat, gain money, lose tools, substance, and skill upgraders. Oh. Okay. Things to worry about. But we got more resources in general, so I'm not too worried. Okay. And we have a new draft. Now, Grok is a little injured, but I'm not too worried about it. Because fatigue is just... Okay, medical care slot is available. Regenerates 40% of his air HP and gains 4% 4 4 devotion at the end of the day. Two beds, usage cost, no. Grok can heal himself. I don't think I need to worry about it. Okay, so let's... let's. Oh, new draft is available. When choosing a draft for your evening show, there are several things to consider. Number of slots indicates how many performers are needed for the show. Stars performing the same program for several evenings in a row leads to boredom. Low novelty hinders its maximum potential. And beware, losing battles doubles the current show's novelty deduction. Okay, good to know. Sometimes it's worth switching characters between shows. Yvonne's preferred slot is any, so she's comfortable with any type. Okay, cool. So, total devotion value of the selected characters is shown on the devotion bar. These produce stars the same way that the chemistry bar does. Okay. Well, here's the problem. It removed from my current setup. That's probably fine. Okay. So, should be fine? I guess we have two bars or two star. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And nobody else is particularly injured. Doesn't look like we have much to worry about. I guess throwing Balthazar in could work, except for the fact that he hates fire breathers. Which, okay. By increasing the audience stars, you can earn more revenue and increase your chances of receiving gifts. Increased entertainment stars yields more circus fame and increases your chances of getting gifts. More complexity results in more EXP gain for performers. Ah. With predictions, you get accurate feedback. Okay. Honestly, I don't know if we need gifts too much. Ooh. 
What if I do like all in? Because yeah, it'll predict how much we get. So if I do three stars, we get money. And then we also get uh, bottle chemicals and a glass lens. But I have to get three stars to do it. And there's also boosters. Ah, eh, fine. The town. Okay, so daily routine. Set up a new circus show to grow your reputation. Assign performance, performers to circus buildings to ensure no one gets bored. Explore the city with the exploration team and prepare for the next clash with the vicious. Okay, is there anything else that I really need to do? I guess let's take a look. I see we have more classes, maybe. No, we just have a lot of characters. Recruitable performers can be tried in no-risk test battle. Oh, useful. But mostly I'm looking for people... I mean, honestly, she's not bad. Uh, I think it also shows their preferred position in battle here. But yeah, so she likes strong men and stilt boxers. Acrobats and robot bears. Yeah, so we want to stay away from people that only have hates, if I can. Unfortunately, we also do not have... Um, we do, uh, I'm going to wait. I could get another person, but we only have so many slots. And I might as well wait for the next recruitable character. So, I think we're just going to... Get back out here and fight. Okay, get some more resources. Ah, uh, let's see, mystery events. Eh, let's see what a mystery event nets us. Yeah, without all of the tutorialization, this should go a fair bit faster. Okay, so what do we have? So she has Fire Ring as well. Fire Attack, which does a ton of damage. So, this kind of more or less potentially does 40. These guys are all pretty damn tough, actually. Trying to decide. Well, how's their devotion looking? Because unfortunately, fire throw doesn't work so hot. So the question is, do we do fire, fire blow? Yeah. Oh. The constables resist fire. Don't it make you smile? Good to know. Well, here's the question. What do we want to do? Boost precision and devotion. Moves forward taunts. Deals damage. Reduce their dodge chance. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to prioritize this guy just because he's higher level. And that could be a problem. No. Or, you know, that happens. Well, it's fine. I don't know. Maybe I should aim for the mimes. If I do this, we only have a 56% chance of hitting. Alternatively, we could... Have him boost his dev devotion. It can boost it three times. No. Well. Because, yeah, that, that devotion buff is good. Don't get me wrong. Maybe I should prioritize it a little bit more. Especially because these enemies are actually a little slap happy. Oof. Probably mostly fine. Okay, so we can continuously do a fire attack. Sure. Okay, he heals himself. Oh wait, no, I was gonna heal Grok. Uh, the strong man. Oops. Whatever. The devotion bonuses are nice, and as far as I can tell, not temporary. Okay. So I can move forward, or I can just repeatedly shock them. Yeah. It's not the most practical. Now, does he have anything that moves him forward? Yes. Might as well have him show off. Part of it is also just getting a really good devotion score is probably going to make my characters genuinely much more monstrous in combat. M maybe. Or not. Okay, so she has she has Fire World now. Only hits the front guy 
26 to 30. Well, yep. Taking him out. And yeah, I think I think we're just going to use the clown as team healer. Okay. What else do we have? Yeah, the mines are mimes mines. The mimes are just kind of going down on their own. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's only got 43. There we go. A strong man, a strong man can duel men. Oh right, and she's stationary. Oh, I see. This just in indicates it's their turn. Ow, rude. Okay, so they both don't have a whole lot of HP. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fire whirl and kill one of them because I want to give my clown another round to get a heal in. My strong man's gotten smacked. Oh, that changes a little bit. Because what's he at? Because I might as well have the clown heal himself. If we ever see, like, an AoE heal go by, I'm snagging it. Because I bet that would actually be pretty good. I keep forgetting what class she is. I cannot help but think Dominatrix, but I know that's false. <laughs> Takes me soon. Read all about it. Well, it was a two-star success, but we got our gifts at the very least. Game's rude. A few days after the maddening, with no sign sign of the chaos on London streets slowing anytime soon, the Circus Electrique made its modest yet undeniably entertaining, undeniably entertaining return. Three quality acts teamed with the Ringmaster's delightful, overstated banter made this reviewer feel like it was 19 or 1888 all over again. It was enough, almost enough to make one forget about the maddening's mayhem still threatening the city. In fact, I do not recall a single scream of terror from the world outside, as I found myself swept away in moments of wonder. Dr. Mabry's electric accoutrement, applied to each performance, does wonders to astound as well. But it does hold up to the mechanical... Does it hold up to the mechanical wonders of the circus mechanique? Surely the backing of steam gives Eli Edwards enough pizzazz to ward off his new competitor and his strange friend. Well, that explains some things. Release the full power of your brain. Genuine recipe, great for dishes. Reeves Wor Worcestershire sauce. What do we name them? But yeah, so the other circus has robots. Another night, another attack by the vicious. And... I doesn't look like I lost any anything there, and we get all sorts of bits and bobs. Ooh, and some levels up. Oh, so Grok, for example, actually lost devotion there, and everybody else kind of gained. Well, I'll keep that in mind then. The second pillar of power. More spectacular acts await. And more importantly, higher admission prices. Or if you believe a certain theory is out there, even more bloodthirsty vicious. It's not exactly blood or beer around here right now, like when we lit the first pillar, is it? No vicious nearby for days. Hmm. Okay, new building skill upgrades. The more fame we get, the more upgrades become available. We get bigger, we get better. Okay, so use resources to upgrade most circus buildings, expanding their possibilities level also affects recruitment costs, daily fees, and even the availability of certain classes. Good to know. So train level two. So reduces reduce uh, recruitment cost. I uh, don't know if we've unlocked any new class types yet. Okay, and this increases the amount of devotion they, um, it increases the amount of devotion they get. Looks like we can only get one. Now the question is, do I want to throw in Grok? Maybe? Like, the problem is nobody's, like, so injured that I really feel like I need to make them rest. Uh, but we did get some levels, I think. Who leveled up? 
Or is it just that my... You know what? It, it's probably that the circus itself leveled up. So actually getting character levels is tough. Well, that's fine. Okay, so it cost me seven food, one food per day per everybody, and we can get some more recruitment slots, which might be something I want to do. But I think for now, it's a good stopping point. Oh, right. Almost a good stopping point. Let's take a look at the mystery a event. propelled mobile kiosk branded Steam booksellers roams the streets, selling novels amongst the chaos. An automated voice speaks. Perhaps a book about magic or invisible things will be of interest in your current endeavor. Insert five shillings to purchase. My companions could use a good story. Okay. So... Each costs five. So, Secrets of Conjuring and Magic. How to Become a Wizard. Magic Stage Illusions and Scientific Diversions, tri including Trick Photography. Or The Invisible Man's Fairly New. I'm gonna go with The Secrets of Conjuring and Magic. How to Become a Wizard. Could this have gone any worse? What happened here? Robert Houdin is one of the most famous magicians to ever live. We're really looking forward to finding out the story behind his tricks, but somehow, all the inferior pages are in French. Useless and demoralizing. All we wanted to learn was how to become wizards. Uh, <laughs> I guess I deserve it. Alright, well, I think this is a good stopping point, at least for now. Uh, this is a charming little game. It very much follows the, uh, a lot of design conventions of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I don't want to say that too much, but it's 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 a clear influence. But I think it works in its own way. It's not nearly as brutal. There's a lot more management that you can do. And it's got kind of a, a brighter, more charming feel. It's not like people are losing their minds. They're just maybe a bit sadder. But you have all sorts of tools to work around, you know, getting that back up again. So as long as none of your characters have too low of devotion, I don't think it'll be a problem. I also just like the overall team composition setup. Like, each of the classes really seems like they fit in quite a lot of different roles, and I'm interested in seeing how you can hyper-specialize. I think so much of that just involves staring at the train every single day and being like, okay, do you have, like, a really busted ability? Do you have a really busted ability? You know, do you have the exact mixture of things that makes you really solid? And I bet later on, uh, once you upgrade the, the train a fair bit, you'll actually get quite the, uh, Quite the setup if you want to go like four strong men that just toss people around like they're nothing. Or just four strong men that just one shot every enemy and laugh about it. All of those are kind of possible and I'm curious to see where it goes. But with all of that said, uh, Circus Electric is available now on Steam, Epic, Xbox, uh, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, and Switch. Which, unless I'm mistaken, that's literally every platform pretty much. So if you guys want to pick this up, it is just everywhere, uh, which I think is solid. I don't know. Uh, hey, I, I guess I really don't know how to follow up on that one just because it's like, boy, I don't actually know how hard it is to port games nowadays. You know, 10 years ago, it was hard. Nowadays, maybe it's actually really easy. So like props to them for making it available everywhere. I know that's going to make some people happy. Uh, also, beyond that, I really like the voice acting. I'm glad that the ringmaster is not too chatty during regular battles. It was just the very beginning where he was super chatty. And I I like the fact that the cutscenes are all voice acted and charming in their own way. Uh, and very much, if you want to have kind of a proper steampunk London, this really does feel like it. And very clearly, we're building up to probably take on this other circus, maybe? Uh, that's using machines for... for well, nefarious, nefarious purposes, I guess. Either that or they're just a front and the uh, estranged friend I could be the villain or also a victim of this and we have to save them too. I don't know. And one last thank you to Zen Studios and Saber Interactive for sponsoring this video. It was a ton of fun and it's really well made. I, I like the amount of polish and literally everything I've seen so far. Uh, but, I guess with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I've got tons to check out. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.